boy Motor City Neek, man, and I'm checking in with another video. I know it's been a minute, man. It's kind of been a nice little transition, man, between the way the weather is and me putting up my old schools and trying to get my cars ready for the winter time. So I got a couple of little new things I'm about to be remixing and doing with the channel just to kind of, you know what I'm saying, keep some consistency going on throughout like this winter period, even though I'm a car content creator, you know, and I show y'all my bills and what I'm working on. I'm still going to bring that to y'all over the winter, but I'm also kind of going to do a couple of like lifestyle type blogs and stuff and things more related to me on a personal tip. So uh, just in case y'all didn't know, man, I'm a huge sneakerhead. So I just rock. I got tons of shoes, tons of kicks. So I'm going to kind of remix it up a little bit and I'm going to do an unboxing. Um, I just recently ordered a pair of, you know, a pair of Jordans from Flight Club. Uh, man, it took forever and a day for them joints to come, but I'm about to drop a little unboxing. So in case y'all some sneakerheads and y'all want to order from Fry Club, you know, I'm about to share with y'all my experience and let y'all check out this unboxing. All right, y'all. Your boy back. That's my Flight Club package. Uh, just pretty much come, you know what I'm saying? Basic standard packaging, you know, package in a box. Uh, I don't know why, for some reason. I don't know, my uh, Flight Club package came internationally. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't know. So, oh uh, yeah. I mean, Flick, Flight Club is a trustworthy company, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't, I ain't really too much worried about it, but at the same time, I'm a big sneakerhead because I used to work for Foot Locker. I was a manager for Foot Locker, so, man, I know my content, I know my shoes, I know my sneakers, I know what's legit, not legit, so... But no further ado, let me get to popping these joints open. Uh, dang. I gotta find my little. All right, y'all, my bad. I'm back. I just needed something to cut this joint open. With. So, I'm doing everything with one hand. So. Don't get me wrong. It might be a little, little, little funny though. Okay. All right. Here we go. Comes in a. In the box. That's my pack so tight. I don't know. I can't get it out like this. Okay. There we go. Use this as like my little display setup. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go. See, it's a nice box. Just do it. There we go. Air Jordan 11, low IE. I wear a size 11. It's a little barcode, wherever that shit from. Trying to focus on it. All right, to the sneaker. Even though y'all probably done seen this shoe several times before, this is me just doing my personal review on it. I'm a fan of the low IEs. I had this shoe back in high school when I was in high school in 96. So I got the original OG one as well as I have this re-retro of the classic one. So as you can see, it does come with this Flight Club sticker on there it said, do not remove this tag. This product has been Flight Club approved. Any claims af made after its removal will not be honored. So this is a, a stamp of authenticity. So this is a verification check. Um, Flight Club. And we also got the little Flight Club official. 
adjust this one. And then, shoot, here's the other shoe. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They look good. They look good. They look good. I'm very, very satisfied. Satisfied. Yep. Oh, man. This, uh, oh, that's just packaging from it being in the box. From the box. Okay. Yeah. I'm loving it, man. I'm satisfied, though. Yeah, these mugs look good. Uh, bottom of them is that kind of milky, translucent type sole. Uh, you know, good carbon fiber. Ooh, you hear that? Yeah, nice good carbon fiber on that boy. Let me see. There's the other one. Same thing. Good carbon fiber. Yeah, overall, man, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm definitely liking it, man. Yeah, I love them. Takes me back to 96, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Yeah. You're a sneakerhead, man. That's a must-have. Not too many fans of the IEs. A lot of people are not. It's almost like a Jordan 2, you know. Some people like them, some people don't. But... It's a must add to the collection, cause if you knew, he did wear this shoe officially in the game. So, all my Jordan sneaker heads, you know that's a must have. Yeah. As far as the packaging, that was all that came in it. It's the regular black tissue paper, not tissue paper, but kind of plastic tissue paper kind. Um, that's the only thing that was in it. Nothing else that came to it. You got your uh, official stamp of being legit, basically. You know, verifies it was uh, a legit made shoe. Uh, and here they go. Give y'all a nice little pan around. I would do it on feet, but I don't really wear my shoes as much. And I ain't really, I'm not quite ready to rock these. So, another classic, man. I love this joint. I'm happy I got it. Definitely an OG. I'm an OG original type person. I've been having sneakers, man, since the 90s. So, I'm a lot older than what I appear. I take care of myself, so. That's one thing, but man, I'm way older than what I what I probably look or what most people probably think. So I've been in this sneaker game a long, long time. But I got more content coming, man. I got more things, more unboxing and more lifestyle vlogs I'm probably gonna do uh, throughout the winter, man, just until things change and the weather get warm up and I could get back to my usual car content. But here it go. These are eleven low IEs. And I order from Flight Club.
wasn't too too bad it was cool man um uh, it took a while for the shoes to come man i can honestly i could be honest with you man i ordered the shoes and uh like sometime in october and it took like literally a good three weeks for it to come man like a good two and a half weeks for it to come so that was kind of like a bummer and like the confirmation and information you get when they send you your shoe far as being able to track it kind of was like it was a delay it made you like damn i'm waiting for my you know tracking information to pop up so i can you know what i'm saying track my shoe it was a delay with that but it eventually did come so once it came i was able to track the shoe but because for some reason my shoe came internationally it was a long wait process just for the shoe just to even transport to get here but once the shoe was released and the tracking updated the shoe got here real quick you know what i'm saying shortly after that but like I said, I ordered the shoe and like two and a half weeks later it came. And it's not two and a half weeks, including the weekends. We talking about business day. So we talked about Monday through Friday, not including the weekend, another Monday through Friday, not including the weekend. And then another, you know what I'm saying, week, which is like almost three weeks, you know what I'm saying? But overall, it wasn't that bad. I'm satisfied with the shoe. I just kind of know now because I haven't ordered from Flight Club in years. So um, it was pretty cool. But if this is your first time checking your boy out, man, be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, join that Motor City crew. Stay up to date with me, man. I got content coming from different types of angles and stuff. I'm not going to be all over the place, but I got a little more lifestyle vlogs and you know I'm going to keep the car content coming. So once again, it's your boy Motor City Nick. I'm out, y'all. Peace.